What's up, Wolfpack? Today is Monday, October 19th. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Josiah Edwards, and, we, and we're here with your disappointing announcements. And to start off today, here's Isabel with the weather. Hey guys, I'm Isabel Herman, and I'm here with this week's weather forecast. From Monday to Wednesday, we will stay in the high 80s, and on Thursday, we will drop down to 80 degrees. For the rest of the week, we will be in the high to mid 70s. For the lows of the week, we will be going from the low 50s to the high 40s. And that's all I have for you today. And this is Isabel Herman signing out. Thanks, Isabel. By the way, do you have TikTok? Of course I do. I've had TikTok downloaded since November of 2018. No way. I heard a rumor that there's a student around Seattle that's gotten TikTok famous. I heard that too. Let's pass it on over to Eden to find out more. What's up, Wolfpack? Today I'm here with the one and only, the beautiful, Leslie Gonzalez. Hey! Now, if you don't know who Leslie is, she is a 16-year-old junior from Kusuna Soaps. She created the dance to Saweetie's song, Tap In, and the dance went quickly viral, and she accumulated over 465,000 followers and 9 million likes. So Leslie, in less than a year, you have gained 465.5K followers on TikTok, have reached 9.4 million likes. At what moment did you realize your dance, Tap In, was going viral? Um, I think the moment that I realized that my dance was going viral was probably when um, one of my favorite TikTok creators, Jada Gomillion, did my dance. And yeah, I was like, whoa, this is... This is probably gonna go somewhere, I don't know. Now, what inspired you to create your dance, Tap In? Well, I used to dance with a dance group called DPX, so I've been dancing for like about a year now. Um, so yeah, I just came across the sound and it didn't have that many videos. It wasn't even the official like Tap In song by Sweetie. And I was like, just like, hey, this song's kind of catchy. Yeah. How has this newfound popularity on TikTok changed your life? Has any negatives come with it or is it mostly positives? Um, I would say it's mostly positive. Like but one hate comments, there's always going to be hate comments. Yeah. And that's like, like I don't really pay attention to them, but there are hate comments. So what are like the positives that it's brought to your life? Um, well, I get to be like mutual friends with like TikTok famous, like other TikTok famous creators, like even Addison Rae, she followed me back and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's just crazy. Cause it's like a whole new world and it's like, wow. When would you say it really set in that you are an influencer or TikTok famous? Um, I think it set in when I first hit like 100K. I was like, whoa, that's like a really big number for me. Okay, this is the answer I'm most excited for because I've seen Charlie D'Amelio do your dance, Addison Rae do your dance, Noah Beck, James Charles. So who is your favorite person to do your dance tap in? I think probably Charlie, Addison, and Sweetie. Cause like, Sweetie is like the creator of the song and like to have the artist of the actual song that I made the dance to is like, Mind blowing to me, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I just want to say, guys, I met Leslie in eighth grade theater. And trust me, if anyone deserves to be TikTok famous, it's Leslie Gonzalez. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to give Leslie a follow on TikTok. And peace out, Wolfpack. Thanks for listening. Wow, that was great. Hey, since celebrities have been getting food items named after themselves, hey Isabel, have you heard of J Balvin? No, I really haven't heard much about him. Well, supposedly he has a new meal at McDonald's. Let's check it out. What's poppin' Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Paul Sabulo, and we're here to give you the latest update on McDonald's. J Balvin, a Colombian singer, teamed up with McDonald's to release the J Balvin meal, quickly following the Travis Scott collaboration. The meal will consist of a Big Mac with no pickles, medium fries, an Ori McFlurry, and ketchup dipping sauce, all for $6.99. Customers who buy this through the McDonald's app will receive an Ori McFlurry for free. What do you say, Dylan? You want to try this? Heck yeah! Well then, let's go check it out. 
Hey guys, so we got the meals. This is his first time eating a Big Mac. Kind of sad. What about it, okay? I was a sheltered child. First bite into the J Balvin meal. Okay, initial thoughts. It's kind of dry, but it's good for a Big Mac. Okay, it's good for a Big Mac. Yeah. So you didn't describe the flavors at all. No, I did not. So right off the bat, very hefty sandwich. I thought the order came with no pickles. Mine has some tons of pickles on it. Oh, but whatever. Is too. I mean, overall, yeah. kind of dry. It's, it's very dry. There's not enough sauce, but uh, overall, good sandwich. So, this is their Oreo McFlurry. I got this for free. Okay, how is it? How's the taste? It's sweet. <laughs> overall, don't waste your money on this. Not a. Whoa. We're not giving out free plugs McDonald's. Good sandwich, but if you're gonna go to McDonald's, just get chicken nuggets. I will say that. I'm glad the person put a lot of Oreos in there because what they do is they put ice cream and then like Oreos in the blender. Oh, yeah, yeah. And sometimes they don't put enough. It's just so bland. I don't know. I do it as bland, but you know, J Balvin likes it bland. I'd say the Travis Scott meal was a lot better. I think these whole promotional deals are a waste of time and money. Okay. And we're out here. And we're out here <laughs> buying them. Yeah. Dylan, what's your rating? Um, out of 10, I give him the Flurry a 10, the Fries a 10, the Burger. 7.5. 7.5? I like food, what can I say? And what is your rating? So the fries, they're a bit soggy today. So oh. I rate them like a solid 6. This one's the best part of the meal, so I'd rate it 8.5. The sandwich, <laughs> I'm asked to give it a 3. 3 out of 10? Yeah. Wow, okay. It just didn't hold up to my expectations. So. Well guys, thanks for tuning in into our food exploration. Back to the anchors. Wow, that was pretty awesome. And that's the tea for today, Wolf Pack. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a, Have a marvelous Monday, Wolf Pack.